Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I've been doing more stuff off-screen again. As you can tell, I'm level 32, so once again, I've gone up like two or three levels since last time. I got like six quests in a row, I think. Something around there. Uh, that gave 1,500 experience, or something like that. So I got a ton of experience from those missions. Uh, I was playing Shulk, Dunban, and... Charla, I think there she is. I was about to say, like, where, where did my third person go? But uh, I took out Ryan, which I think I said I would do at the end of the last one because he had, uh, I think, the best affinity setup. I need to get affinity between Dunban and Shulk. And after a lot of quests and a lot of presents, I did like all of the top three presents I had for Dunban and Shulk. I traded between Dunban and Shulk. So now Dunban has level two affinity with everyone. Ryan has level 2 affinity with uh, everyone except for Shulk, who he has level 3 affinity. I think that's... No, that's level 4 affinity. Uh, the Pink Heart is level 3, I think. So that should be level 4. And then Sharla has level 2 affinity with everyone. So basically, it's level 2 affinity all around except between Ryan and Shulk, which is like... I believe that's level 4. Let me look at the skill tree. I accidentally went to the party. <laughs> uh, skill tree... Skill links is what I need, I think. Except I need to, like, look from Ryan's perspective. Uh, yes, that is level 4. So I think the... Oh, the blue. That's right. The pink heart is max. The little blue face that I always forget about, that's level 3 affinity. That's what comes after uh, the green one. But cool. Speaking of which, I need to look at... Uh, that's not going to help Ryan at all. need to look at setting up more skill links between people. Because I've got a lot of affinity coins. I've been killing a lot of rare monsters. If I run across any rare monsters off screen that I know I'm never going to fight on screen, I just get rid of them. Uh, agility up would be very nice. That only cost 14. That's, that's, I'd do that for 10 agility. That sounds good. Uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter either. Anything good from Dunban? That could be good, but I don't have enough coins for it. Increases aura time would also be nice, but again, not enough coins. So we're good with Ryan for now. Let's look at Sharla. I think that heals the party slightly after chain attack. More HP is restored when reviving. Restores HP to an encouraged ally. Healing arts restore more HP. Okay, do I have... Ah, uh, Sharla... Oh, no, wait. This is Dunman. Where... I want to do Sharla really quick. Ah, uh, when Sharla gets level 3 affinity, she'll be able to get that from Shulk. The one that uh, heals more HP from healing arts. That's going to be really handy for her. And it's only 8. Uh, slightly after chain attack doesn't really matter. More HP is restored when reviving a party member. I guess that's good. May as well. I don't really see why I wouldn't. That is 20 coins though. I might take that off depending. Uh, this would allow Charlotte to put on heavyweight armor. That's something to look into. So if I want anyone to equip heavyweight armor but they don't have the skill for it themselves, then they just have to have an explosion mark uh, skill in their skill link tree with Ryan. Attack power wouldn't be too bad, but I, that's not really good for Sharla, specifically. And Dunman doesn't have any skills unlocked yet. I, I guess that'll be cool. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Ryan. I think I'm waiting on people to get more skills that go with Ryan well. Dunban? Where's the, uh... Who is it? Is it Sharla that has the increased... Uh, agility? Yes, it is. And I have to get one more level of affinity with her for Dunban to be able to take that skill. Because that's what I wanted. Alright, so there's there's nothing Sharla has that Dunban can even use right now. That That is useful, at least. So that doesn't matter. Uh, I can't do that with Shulk. It has to be a circle. More HP when reviving a party member is okay. So is healing the party after a chain attack. May as well. And then with Ryan, uh, increases max HP. That's nice. And then increases attack power of equipped weapon. That's actually really nice for Dunban. All right. I have so many coins with Shulk. Surely there is something that I can be equipping here. I may as well, if nothing else. And then the increased agility is very nice. Uh, greatly boost power of healing arts and chain attacks. I rarely, if ever, use light heal in chain attacks. So, all right, cool. Did a little bit of that. Also, I've unlocked... Whoops, I accidentally went back to skill tree. I've unlocked a few arts while off screen. I'm still going to hold on to my AP for a bit longer, despite having so much of it. I want to get to like five digits. Like 10k on Dunban, and then I'll probably just use it a ton. But uh, as you can see, I got two new ones, Tempest Kick and Serene Heart. And I actually looked at them earlier. I do want Serene Heart. Uh, it uh, 
ups my accuracy and invasion for 15 seconds, and it does it uh, even... It does it by 50%, and then if my health is low, it does it by 75%. So I'm going to get rid of Battle Eye, because I never use Battle Eye. And then Tempest Kicked is another, uh, another kick off of Gale Slash. It removes enemy buffs, but it also does decent damage. 700, like, rounding up. 700 to 900 damage. Uh, it's good to use even if I don't have Gale Slash, and I never use Peerless... That does increase strength, though. I think I'll keep Peerless and get rid of Blinding Blossom. I never use Blinding Blossom. Uh, the only time I would want Blinding Blossom is if I'm not using Rhine and I really want Dunban to be full-on aggro tank. But even without Blinding Blossom, like, I've been fighting off-screen with Sh uh, Shulk, Dunban, and Charla. The aggro is normally on Dunban anyways uh, without having to take aggro from other people. It rarely shifts off of him from how I've been playing, at least. So let's do that. And then I think Shulk, Shulk got Battle Soul, and I don't like Battle Soul at all. It fills the Talent Gauge by 25% for 50% of your HP. Does that, it does increase the percent amount if you start leveling it up, but I never, never use Battle Soul. So I guess I'm going to leave it on for now. I was considering just taking it off so it's not even there, but I guess I'll leave it. I'll probably never use it though. I don't think Sharla got any new ones, did she? She got Head Shaker, Pistol Whip the Enemy, Inflicting Days, pretty awesome. Uh, and Convert Stance, or that stops you getting aggro, reducing attack from enemies. That is very useful for her. Let's get rid of... What do I want to get rid of for this? Oh, uh, this is a hard pick. I definitely want Covert Stance. I just don't know what over, over what. Heat Bullet raises tension, and tension, I have been told numerous times, is important. How much does Head Shaker do, by the way? I think it's better to have Head Shaker, since it inflicts days uh, if the enemy is suffering topple, and that's a lot of uh, damage anyways. Ah, but that's physical, though. Tranquilite, or Thunder Bullet isn't, is it? Yeah. I shouldn't have Head Shaker then, since, because Charla is going to be totally focused on Aether attacks, and I'm going to raise up her Aether stat. Let's get rid of... I'm torn between Heat Bullet or sh Shield Bullet. Uh, and it, uh, okay, yeah, I think that just decided it. When you, I was gonna look like, do I get more damage immunity if I level it up more? And yes, you get like 250 more for a single level up of shield bullet. And it also ups the effect time by like 1.6 seconds and lowers cooldown by nearly five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the tension one. People in the comments, tell me if I'm being dumb or not. If there's one that you are specifically would know, like, no, you should have gotten rid of this one. Let me know and I might do that. I really feel like not getting aggro is really important, though. I don't know. Tell me if I'm being dumb or not, and you may possibly sway my opinion. But anyways, uh, before we go to finish up Satoral Marsh, we're going to finish our goal for today, finish Satoral Marsh, and then go back and look at Colony 6 so we can get started on the Colony 6 stuff. Uh, there was that one chain of quests we were doing about the whole uh, getting the... The Ignas were trying to get the key to the giant's altar or something f uh, that's in the Exile Fortress, I believe. We have to go and kill, like, five diluted Ignas. I think that's what they're called. Something like that. We have to go and kill, like, five of those and stop them from getting the key. So we're going to go and do that. And they are over here. I figured out where they were off screen so that, you know, I wouldn't be wandering around for ten minutes trying to find them on screen. But anyways, they're right through this little passageway here alongside the Exiled Fortress. Bum, 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 bum. Here they are. Diluted Igna, that's what it is. I think that's why I said, isn't it? Five of them, we gotta kill them all. Let's go. I'm gonna stick without Rhine for now. Might change that soon, because, you know, Rhine is really good as the tank and all. Hopefully I don't end up regretting this, like, very soon. Die, I say. You cannot have two, uh, whatchamacallits at the same time. You cannot have two auras at the same time. So that's why I haven't immediately activated my, uh, evasion one right off the bat. Oh, they're getting chain attacks. That's, like, really bad. I need to kill one of them immediately before they use that. I need you to die. Come here. You're not getting away. Stop trying to run. That's one down. All right. Everyone focus on this one, please. I'm gonna do Serene Heart. 
Shulk has actually taken all the aggro somehow, probably because I was only attacking that one guy. Most of the battles that I was talking about where Shulk, like, never took the aggro as opposed to me was actually, uh, like, single battles, not multiple battles. So now that I think about it, with Stream Edge, Shulk probably does draw in more aggro than Dunban does because he hits so many enemies at once. But uh, let's chain attack kill this guy, and then hopefully it'll carry over and hit some of these other guys too. Uh, let's stream edge so you can hit everyone around, hopefully. I think he still only hit the one guy, which was a waste, but whatever. We are fine on HP. These guys are only level 25. We're seven levels ahead. We're not going to have much trouble. This should be a fairly easy win. There's another one down. Let's focus on this one, everybody. I'm going to Gale Slash combo with Worldly Slash. There you go. Lower that strength along with the defense. Yeah, it seems like it's good even if you don't combo them off of Gale Slash. They're still good to just use, period, because they do decent damage. Which is good. I like that. I like that they don't need to be comboed off of uh, Gale Slash to do good damage. That's three down, two to go. Gonna up uh, my auto attack speed with haste so I can hurry up and get to this... Um, whatchamacallit right here. I can get to Blossom Dance. Probably kill this guy with Blossom Dance, actually. Hopefully. Blossom Dance does so much damage. It would be really good if I could get some, like, uh, once I get armor with slots for Dunman, if I could, or if I could get some skill links for it if, as well. I don't know if anyone has any skills that can up, can up the, uh, talent guys refill thing, but if I could reload Blossom Dance faster. I feel like that'd be really worthwhile. I'm gonna backslash even though it's from the front. Yeah, it still does 5,000 damage. Oh, crud, I wasn't... Charlotte, what was the deal there? Oh, she's using cool off. I need to get into the habit of looking at Sharla as, uh... I should have worldly slash comboed there. I need to get into the habit of looking at Sharla before doing chain attacks to make sure she's not doing something that prevents her from doing it. I also need to get into the habit. I've been playing as Dunman a lot off screen as well as the last, like, two sessions, I think. I need to get into the habit of, uh... Oh, do I have to pick something up here? It's next to... Dig out key next to another tree. All right, we got the giant's key. What do I need to do now? Uh, investigate the altar on the roof of Exile Fortress in Satoral Marsh. Ah, great. So I got I bet I got to go back in the got to go back through the back door. As you can see, I've done a lot of uh Satoral Marsh quests. I also went back and did a few on Tefra Cave as well as uh the Bionis Leg and whatnot. What was that new one? Oh, right. I haven't done that one yet. I remember that one. I looked at it and then decided to do it later. Uh this one, Colony 6, I went and found the uh, Nopon coin that we had to return. I think I actually accepted that quest on screen when we first got to Colony 6. But uh, they've moved inside of Colony 6 now because the doors are open, and I didn't want to walk into Colony 6 without doing it on screen first because I don't know if any cutscenes or anything like that are going to happen. Also, I went back to Colony 9 to look for a few more quests. I got like two or three of them back there, so I got those done. Because you have to like, the more quests you do in an area, you raise your affinity with the actual area and uh, that unlocks more quests. And I think you have to raise affinity with areas to later unlock the quests that let you get more skill trees. I know, I'm pretty sure at least, I wanna say I know, but I'm gonna say pretty sure instead, that Shulk's, uh, it's either his fourth or his fifth skill tree, you unlock by having enough affinity with, uh, by doing a quest in Colony 9 that you have to have like four affinity to get, or something like that. Stupid bird. I have fought so many of these Mist Rogals while doing missions. I forgot that they can't be affected by a uh, break, so I should combo Worldly Slash there. There's a lot of stuff I know I should do that I just don't think to do. I also now have to get into the habit of... When I was playing as Dunman before, I never used whatever was over here and then whatever was over here, Blinding Blossom and the other thing. So now I have to get used to, like, I need to throw out Tempest Kick just to deal damage, even if I don't use it in combination with Gale Slash. Those Rogals are still giving me very nice experience in AP. Surprisingly. Uh, where... I forgot where the ascension point is to get up to the back door. It's that right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's that path right there. It's right over here. Alright, cool. I got it. As Ryan would say, I know, I know. Man, I haven't heard in in the like two hours of quest grinding I did off screen. 
Did not hear its rhyme time a single time. Feels weird, man. Actually, no, that's a lie. I had to, uh, I had to fight a signature monster. It was like level 29. It was this, uh, it was like a Mist Rogel special enemy, and it was actually pretty difficult. So I had to switch in Rhine in place of Shulk because uh, everyone was too glass cannon esque. I need people to do more damage. Do I go back in the rear door here? I still, even at level 32, there's no way I can win this fight. Um, am I supposed to come in here? It said it's on the roof, right? Is there, like, a pathway somewhere that I can take up without them seeing me? Or do I need to take a different path? Is there, like, a door or something? Oh, Wall of Sin. Uh, hello. 